Hey two, I'm back this time with a pretty big Bath & Body Works candle empties video. It's been a couple months since I've done a wax and home fragrance empties and with uh, candle day coming up, I wanted to go ahead and just get this pushed out because I do have quite a bit of stuff, at least for me, I do. So I would say that I go through a candle maybe once every 10 days or so. That's generally my pace. Um, so some months I will have like back-to-back -back candle empties and other months I will clearly skip. So it just kind of depends on how the month went for me. Fall has been all right in terms of my pacing. Um, but again, because I haven't done a candle empties in maybe like two months or so, I wanted to go ahead and just get this done. So I'm going to start with what I burned toward the end-ish of summer or when it was still kind of hot here in Kansas City in September, and then I'll get into the things I burned more recently. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. The first one that I want to share is a blend collection candle. This is Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. I purchased this in, I think, 2022. Yeah, at the summer SAS of 2022. So it says Juicy Peaches, Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. And I'm sure... It will, yeah, it just smells kind of like burnt and gross. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this fragrance. It was a tad bit light, but honestly not so much that it really bothered me. Um, I did not get a strawberry from this as the notes suggest. Um, it really was just a vanilla peach scent and it really reminded me of peach meringue. And so for that reason, if, if it comes out again, I would definitely pick up a couple more. I really enjoyed it. The next one that I used up was a Fresh Mint and Tea Tree. This was a purchase from uh, early this year. The uh, It was manufactured on, that would be February 1st of this year. Um, so the keynotes are Bright Spearmint Tea Tree and Rosemary. Again, I'm sure it'll smell just kind of like burnt and gross. Yeah, like I can still kind of get it, but anyway. So I wanted to pick this up because it is a departure from what I usually get, which would usually be like a uh, like a fresh springy floral or a fruity scent for the spring and summertime. Um, and because of the spearmint and the tea tree together and the herbaceousness, I guess, from the rosemary, again, it really is different from what I would normally do. Uh, with this, honestly, I thought it smelled a little bit like, and I mean, definitely not the same but a little bit like sweater weather, honestly. It just kind of gave me that sort of vibe. I'm not really a sweater weather person. I don't hate it, but it's just not my thing. Um, but yeah, it just kind of gave me that vibe. So I'm happy to have tried it, but this is not a repurchase for me. However, if you like sweater weather, you'd probably like Freshman and Tea Tree. I feel like it's very much so in that same family. The next one that I used up is an annual one for me. This is my Precious Summer Boardwalk. This one is definitely not for people who are sensitive to fragrance, but I'm clearly not sensitive to fragrance and I adore it. So the keynotes are caramel glaze, popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. It's very much so your carnival type scent. I love it for, you know, the end of August, early September. And yeah, always a good one. I'll definitely buy another one next year. The next one that I used up, and now we're getting into fall, I used up for the first time ever a blueberry pumpkin patch. I know that this came out maybe, what, like 10 years ago or so. Um, it really came out for the first time before I started documenting anything on YouTube, um, but blueberry pumpkin patch. So I got more into candles around 2015 when I started on YouTube. Um, so this was a little bit before my time in terms of burning candles and really paying attention to them, but I wanted to pick one up because of that reason and because I do like blueberries for the fall. Um, and I burned this one more recently, so it, I mean, it smells smoky, but not like the others. And yeah, to me, this just smells like a woodsy blueberry scent. It says blueberries, rich, uh, ripe pumpkin and autumn spice. So yeah, actually, yeah, I would say like a spicy spicy blueberry and I don't even like cinnamon I don't like spice but there's uh, this was really not too bad so because I do other blueberries in the fall you know I think I could take or leave this but I really I do understand the appeal of this I definitely understand why there would be a cult following so if you like blueberry pump or if you like um blueberry maple pancakes but you are looking for something a little bit more autumnal I think this would really hit the spot for you hopefully it'll come back next year because it was a nice fragrance 
The next one that I used up is a pumpkin snickerdoodle. It's been a while since I've had this, so I wanted to get my hands on it. Um, it got really schmutzy by the end, but honestly, I don't mind because it still maintained its performance overall. The key notes are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, and fresh nutmeg. It was a little bit like a tad light, but you know, that was actually all right with me. So it did smell just like a snickerdoodle. Um, and yeah, I can really enjoy it for that reason. Again, I'm not a pumpkin spice person, but I can do pumpkin snickerdoodle. That was all right, because it did smell like a warm, sugary cookie. So I, it's not one of those things that I'm really gonna rush out and get again, but if it came back next year, you know, I could see it. So not that I would definitely purchase it, but I would definitely, um, I would say entertain it. The next one that I used up is an annual one for me. This is blueberry maple pancakes. Fine packaging, I guess. I just don't really understand what leaves have to do, leaves and flowers have to do with blueberry pancakes, but whatever. Honestly, I think the very first packaging of this that came out in 2018 was the best packaging we had for blueberry maple pancakes. Still though, I'll continue to buy it. The keynotes are wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. I don't get the pancakes at all. To me, it just smells like a blueberry maple syrup. Um, it did just fine. Again, it got a little bit schmutzy at the end, but I don't really mind that because I could smell it the whole entire time and it burned evenly the whole time. So, you know, whatever. I don't really care. So this is definitely one that I'll pick up another one of next year. The next one that I picked up is also, I guess the last three really are annual ones I always get. So the next one is Autumn. I'm always on the lookout for Autumn at the beginning of fall releases from Bath & Body Works. This is definitely like probably the number one fall scent that I love to get. Even over blueberry maple pancakes, I love Autumn. It says bright red gala apple juicy fig eucalyptus leaf and fir balsam. So it just smells like a clean kind of tree scent with a little bit of apple. I really love it for September when it's still pretty warm, but the weather is starting to turn a little tiny bit. Um, but you know, I'm still comfortably in, you know, like jeans and sandals and whatever. So I love autumn. Again, it's a purchase every single year. If I could only purchase one fall candle every year, this would be it. It's so good. The next one, again, that is an annual purchase for me is Marshmallow Fireside. So this is from this year. The keynotes are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roast, and vanilla, and crystallized amber. So the, those are the fragrance notes we've had for a long time. Smells the exact same. Again, same kind of thing. Like, no burn issues. These have been fine. Like, this did not get very schmussy, which is great. I had it in my master bedroom upstairs, and it did just fine in that space. So again, love it. I don't know that I'll pick up one for the winter. I think usually like if I burn one, I'm kind of over it for the year, but next year I'll definitely pick up another one. And the last Bath and Body Works candle that I used up got a little bit janky, but honestly that was my fault because I let it burn too long. This is another annual pick for me. This is the perfect autumn. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, that's lifting and lipstick. I'll put that down below, by the way. Um, you may have seen that on Thanksgiving, I posted a story where I did a, you know, I do like my Fresh Burn Fridays, whatever. Um, but I did one on Thanksgiving Day because I did a Fresh Burn of the Perfect Autumn, which is my Thanksgiving tradition. I love this fragrance. So just like the other ones, I got a tad schmutzy by the end, but really was okay. I have this bit here, but like I said, it's, be it's my fault. It's because I burned it too long one day. Um, and that was just, yeah, just my issue. Um, the keynotes are fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, and crisp apple and rich clove. I love it for Thanksgiving because it is a woodsy, spicy cranberry. So it keeps me in autumn for at least another day while we're celebrating Thanksgiving. But I think because of those notes, it also transitions very logically into the holidays. So always a great one for Thanksgiving Day. I absolutely adore it. Always a repurchase for me. The last candle that I used up in fall, like really the last couple months or so, is from Yankee. This is a returning classic in blueberry. This is actually my Halloween fragrance. So um, I know that for a lot of people, blueberry is a summer fragrance or a summer note and not um, a fall note, but I just have a lot of memories of my mother specifically um, burning blueberry from Yankee um, on Halloween when I was growing up. And so, um, you know, it just kind of has become 
my Halloween fragrance and I really love it. So I have more of these in my kitchen, but I really love to melt them on Halloween. The last couple things I have are um, uh, clamshells. I have one also from Yankee. This is in pumpkin banana scone. I think I picked this up last year and it is so good. It is um, just very much so a, like I get the banana, it smells gourmand. There's definitely a spice to it and I really liked it. So I typically did not melt this by itself. This was usually something I would melt with like a deep berry type of fragrance to get like a berry gourmand and it was really great for transitioning into fall. I would repurchase it even though I'm not a pumpkin spice person, it was really great. The next one that I used up is from Sensationals. This is Honeysuckle Nectar. This is always a repurchase for me. Just a really nice springy, summery, bright floral. I love it, so good. If you love Honeysuckle, definitely pick this up. The next one that I picked up from or used up from Sensational is a Strawberry Crunch. I picked this up, I think, over the spring. Um, and I think the gist of it is like a gourmand strawberry. And it was nice. But I will say that if you have um, Wild Berry Cheesecake from Better Homes and Gardens, I think it's a Better Homes and Gardens fragrance. Anyway, do you pretty much have this. So they're not the same. You know, they are different if you smell them side by side, but I feel like if you didn't have them side by side, it would kind of just be like six one, half dozen the other, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was nice, but I just felt like it was really similar to uh, Wild Berry Cheesecake, so whatever. And the last one that I used up is also a clamshell, but this is one that I purchased locally from a company called Candle Cube um, from the Country Candle Collection. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry, hello. The company is Country Candle Collection. This clamshell is what they call a candle cube. And this was in mango papaya. So here's their information, by the way, if you wanna order from them. Again, I purchased it locally here in Kansas City. Um, 479, I don't know what that area code is, but it's not KC itself, so anyway. Um, but yeah, this was in mango papaya. Mm, and this was good. I will say it wasn't crazy strong in the warmer, but if you're sensitive to fragrance, that actually would work for you. But I loved this kind of tropical mango scent. It was so good for the end of summer and I really enjoyed it. I would repurchase from this company. I would repurchase this scent specifically. So yeah, it was really great. Mango Papaya from Country Candle Collection. So that is it. Again, it's been maybe like two, two and a half months since I filmed my last uh, candle and wax empties, but I wanted to get this cleared out in anticipation of candle day. Um, and yeah, that's all. I, I guess I don't really have any other to chat. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Lifting and Lipstick. That's down below. And I'll see you guys in a couple days with the intro of my winter use up challenge. I'll have some Bath and Body Works empties. I will have my candle day haul. So all kinds of good stuff. So definitely stay tuned and I'll see you then. Bye.